affectionate. Begin in a wide-legged stance. Anchor through the outsides of your feet. Reach both palms up above your head. Root to rise. On an out breath, sweep your arms around and bring your hands to your hips. Affectionate. This power posture, breathe in a way that is affectionate towards yourself and others. For yourself and others. Exhale, squat, anchor through the heels, toes splay out. Bring the elbows to your sides. An optional rudra mudra by bringing the thumb to your ring and index finger. Find your pulse from left to right, balancing the sides of the body. We always work with opposing energies. Root down, rise, straighten through the legs, reach up, deep breath in. On your out breath, navel to spine, goddess squat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Reach forward and back through the tailbone all the way to the earth. Palms to the earth. Walk your palms back behind you. You got it. Keep going. Out breath softens the spine. Let it go. Affectionate. On your next in breath, begin to walk back up. Palms underneath your shoulders, wiggle out the head, come to a flat back, look forward, and walk over to your left foot. Maybe drop the right elbow to the earth. Look forward, square your shoulders, square the hips. Walk the palms to the right foot. Anchor through the left arm. Soft, steady. On your next in-breath, come to a flat back. Root through the right palm, reach up through the left. Stack shoulder on top of shoulder, keep breathing. You got this. Option to go for the bind. Keep the heart open. Anchor through the outsides of the feet. Maybe bring the weight forward to the balls of the feet. Look forward. Square shoulders to hips. Release out of the bind. Bring both palms to the earth. Equal parts in both sides, reach up through the left hand. Left hand reaches, right hand roots. Long all the way from the tip of the tailbone through the crown of your head, option to go for the bind. Breathe. Affectionate. Bring your gaze forward, square shoulders with the hips, equal through the feet, gaze soft. Breathe. And to release out of the bind, bring both palms to the earth, hands to the hips, roll the shoulders away from the ears. Breathe. Extend the shoulders away from your ears as the crown of the head lifts you up to standing. Anchor through the heels. Back to power posture. Clear it out. 
upward dog. Look over the left shoulder. Look over the right shoulder. Look up, child's pose. Sweep the left arm to your side and then the right arm so the palms face up. I'll read a short excerpt out of the Tibetan Book of Yoga in regards to the inner winds. You can trace this connection yourself simply by thinking about the last time you got really excited or upset. When we have a strong emotion like this, then the thoughts stop flowing smoothly. They literally get jumbled up. And because the thoughts ride on the horse of the inner winds, then the winds also start to struggle inside the channels. It's as if a rider suddenly starts kicking and digging spurs into a horse's side. The horse just takes off in any direction it wants to. Connection between the inner winds and our breath like two guitar strings. The third layer, the inner winds. The Tibetan Book of Yoga by Gesha Michael Roach. Begin to rock your head from side to side, massaging the forehead. Two more complete breaths, beginning with the out breath. Walk one palm forward, followed by the other. On an in-breath, press up to Sphinx. You can do this sequence at any part of your day, any time, lunch, before a meeting, finding intervals of movement throughout your day keeps you on rhythm, keeps you on track. If you found value in this video, please click the subscribe, like, and keep coming back.